This is just a reference for anybody listening to a, a maybe timing belt or a, a timing problem, whether you have a broken timing belt or you have compression problems. When you have compression problems, the engine ends up speeding up more. If you have a broken timing belt, your valves are going to be stuck open. In some cases, it's going to hit the valves. It's going to cause compression timing. But even if the valve is stuck open, it's not hitting the piston. You're going to hear the difference in the uh, when you're cranking. I'm going to crank it. This is normal compression. This is what you're going to hear with normal compression. So just count five seconds. Do it one more time. Count five seconds. So you can really hear it. If you count five seconds, you what you do is you compare that to this, what I'm about to show you. Now this is what this is what you're going to hear when you have no compression or open valves or uh, your timing's wrong, your timing belt broke, your timing chain broke, or you have bad compression on your engine. Listen to the difference. Count to ten and see how many uh, how many you can count. You can see the difference. A crank. You hear how fast it is? It's about double the time. You hear how fast it is. It, it, it's super fast. It's way fast. You hear a lot difference. And in some cases, when you have a six cylinder engine and you only have three going out because you have a timing chain broke and the three back are uh, sealed and the three front are not, you're going to hear about half that speed. But that's about double the speed of what you heard when you have compression. And that's why a lot of people take out their spark plugs when they end up doing their timing bolts to turn over their engine by hand. Because it's a lot easier to turn over without any compression. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe.